Hey yo guys, what is up? Zach the Gamer Films here, and I'm here with a uh, very, 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 very basic tutorial of um, face swaps. And is um, this part right here is pretty self-explanatory. You can probably see we're cutting the face, and then you do either copy in a new layer or cut in a new layer, and erase all the excess. Um, there's not really a lot that goes into it, especially if you have a simple version of Photoshop like this. It's pretty much just getting the skin tones to match close enough. You can see in the video, I don't get them exactly. It, um, also, it's getting um, the face to fit close to the proportions of the original picture so you don't have two mouths or two smiles or whatever, you know what I mean? It doesn't look realistic. And you can see I kind of had my, um, the odds against me when I was doing this one. You can see the skin tones are so much different between, um, Nicolas Cage here and some hillbilly that I found. And you'll see, um, uh, what I do here. I'm using the, I'm using the, uh, what do they call it? The history tool. And pretty much what that does is it eliminates any, um, sharp edges to the um, picture that could potentially make it less realistic. So pretty much what you want to do is make this as smooth as, tr as a transition to the rest of the face as possible. See, it, it goes pretty well up by the forehead, but when we get here around and we can't get it much darker, really that's where it kind of um, starts to um, seem unrealistic. Um, pretty much the only fix to this is to make the original, or like what you're overlaying over the original bigger, so you have the least amount of original skin that doesn't match the skin tone as possible. And um, there was kind of a, ran into like a weird thing where I couldn't make it any darker. You can see right here is where I'm on the right layer, I'm using the right tool but I can't go any darker, which is why I just went ahead and made it bigger. You'll see that in a, um, in a second. But, but there I just used the, um, I used the sampler tool to get the skin tone from the original picture, see if I could change the actual overlaid face. Um, the skin tone is changing. Here is what I am talking about where I, um, made the face bigger to, like, have as little of exposed skin from the original picture as possible and here I just start smoothing out again you can see it, it fits a little bit better now it looks a little goofier which is kinda like the whole thing of like whole what do they call it the whole premise of face swaps that and it this was actually a very 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 easy 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 face swap so if you can find both of these pictures you can pretty much try this, you know, you just look up Hillbilly and look up Nicolas Cage, but, um, it fit very well because you didn't have to change the way that the face is tilted very much, and when you do that, especially, like, at a very, very drastic angle, it makes it, um, very, very, um, disproportionate, <laughs> so you can see what I, I was actually just listening to that at the beginning of the video, that's funny, anyway, I was looking for another picture because I was going to do another one real quick and have it in the same picture, but I ended up not doing this. Um, but you can see in the beginning, there was a couple face swaps, and there you could probably pick out the picture that I used for this face swap. Alright, so here we got um, another better, very, very better face swap than that, which actually kind of worked out, so now I can show you how you're supposed to do it. And that's pretty much it. You can see the difference between mine and that one. Um, it's very, very, very different. I, I am not very good at that. I'm, I've done a few, and I'll probably have like a couple at the end of this video that weren't so great, and a couple that were freaking amazing, because I've done a, like a bunch, and they're hilarious. Most of it's just the funniest thing ever, really. Once you can get it to actually look right, um, it's... It's very, very, very rewarding, I guess is the only thing I can say about that. Um, 
Oh, also, sorry I'm kind of being quiet, because it's really late at night, and I can't talk, because people will think I'm weird. But I'm doing this for you guys, and now my family doesn't love me, so... Yeah, you guys, you guys gotta subscribe to make me feel better. Speaking of which, though, I think we got like 40-something subscribers now, which is pretty awesome, considering when I started doing it on a regular basis again in June... It was like a couple weeks after summer ended, I was bored. Mark was rocking the scene. Jamarky Mark is rocking the YouTube scene from, um, you know, as far as, you know, all of, you know, the kids that were into it, or, or that are into it right now. It, um, he just started rocking the scene. It was, it was, it was good for him. Now he's around 20 or something. And, um, I just gave him a shout out, my new shout out series. Go check that out. It shows how you can enter, and I think here is where I'm going to show you some of the other ones, and I will get back to you guys explaining them when they're here. So yeah, I'll be right back. Alrighty, um, my guys, I'm back, and this is a picture of um, Ice Cube and Jacksepticeye. Um, this is a good example of where... The proportions of the face you want to overlay with the face don't exactly fit very well. As you can see over there, um, to your right, uh, the eye, you can see like a little black part, which is the other eye, and that it, it kind of can be passed off as like a bag or something, but that is just kind of like an improvised thing. Also, um, if you look over here, just um, above the f left front tooth, there's like a little... Um, mark here that's where the other or where ice cubes original mouth was but um this is like doing the best you can with little you have you know you just cover up as best as you can um you can also like uh free transform like the mouth and the eyes separately to help that but it's kind of hard to do to make it still proportionate so this was good enough for what i was doing so um on to the next one. I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright guys, um, this is one of those um, funny instances where proportions don't fit, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. This is the same picture um, I just showed you with the hillbilly of Nicolas Cage and a picture of Vin Diesel. And the way his head was positioned in his face, it just didn't fit. <laughs> it made like the funniest thing I've ever seen and it's just so retarded looking it's it's hilarious but it shows that sometimes like a face swap is just impossible there's no way you can do it but again that can make some funny 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 alien <laughs> no. but I oh my god I hope this ends up on Google images because of this video but it's Oh my god, it's just amazing. It's so retarded. But, um, you can see where I tilted the face and it didn't fit and I had to free transform. It's just the weirdest, weirdest, weirdest thing ever. And it, it just it looks so derpy. But, um, I don't know. Don't be afraid to have this happen to you guys. Oh god, okay. Um, this is one of the rare instances where the face does fit and it works I guess even though the um the facial hair doesn't really like have a feathering like it would like for real um there is a tool to do that but this is kinda just like the simple version or simple way to do it and it just shows that less is more and it works so um I got a lot more but I think I recorded most of those. I got one with like Obama and um, it's Obama and Eddie Murphy from the uh, movie it was a like Beverly Hills Cop Flash Money of him holding the gun up. And I found that picture where he's like really serious, yelling at that guy. I, it's just it's funny. You guys will see that soon. But um, yeah, if you guys want to uh, see more videos like this, click that subscribe button. I got a lot. Uh, recorded. Also, check out my shout out series. Um, share that. Tell people about that. And if you do, 
I will be your best friend. Just kidding. See?